All right, guys, this is cord number 11 on its way out. So I had to get more wood this last week. Got a little fur sitting right there next to the splitter. This is what was left of the, the one job that I ended up clearing out earlier this week. But boy, did I have it full. So anyway, let's see how traffic is for this one. If not, we'll be working around in the yard. Hey guys. Sorry to not too much on the delivery from yesterday. But I did get quite a bit done in the wood yard. So let me turn the camera around and show you what I've been doing the last so about three hours. This is after I bucked it all up. All of my madrona. Except one. It's right right there. That's all the fur that I got. That stuff too long. So that's fine. That pile's over 16 inches, so it'll be campfire wood. Which is gone next load is Saturday. And then this stuff here, it's all 16 and under. That'll be Mother's Day weekend. And that's what I guess you would call my cookie pile. Just little odds and ends, 10 inches and under. But for about the last four hours, I've just been splitting away. So, this here's my maple. There's another piece underneath. Yeah, it's right there. But. That's where I threw it all, and I'll just stack it all right there. So, yeah. <clears throat> Give me an idea that gas can sitting there is uh, two and a half gallons. So, anyway, let's get some pallets set up and start stacking. Two bucks a pair, they're not bad at gloves. And I split everything down about the size of your hand. Sometimes a little bigger. Haven't had anybody complain yet. in the Midwest this stuff this stuff burns like the uh, Osage orange this stuff's horrible horrible stuff to cut though when it's when it's dry it's like cutting rock with the chainsaw Trying to bring over another load of this stuff. We 
mean, it's green though. It's it's still hard on the screen. But it's definitely not as bad as when it's dry. It doesn't put off sparks or anything like that that I've heard of other woods doing. But it's still hard. I don't think you guys want to watch me stack the whole entire time, so I'll be back in a bit. Well guys, I am done for the day. My log pile that was right there where the log splitter is sitting, it's all done. Cut it up yes on Saturday. Today is Sunday. I split it all today and stacked it all today. Let me show you what I stacked and for those of you that have the same model of splitter I have some information for you guys that might help you so let me show the stack and I'll be back okay so it was all there you guys watched me start the stack there two rows deep and three pallets wide I'm done for the day how Chris in the woodyard does it just about every day or every other day. <laughs> you have. Man, that's a lot of work. Not to mention, I have all of that still sitting there. And that's about another 10 cords deep. And I think it's 30, 33 feet long. So. But it takes me all summer to do that, or all winter to do that. So, anyway, let me show you on the splitter, and I think we'll call this one a wrap. But yeah, all Madrona, Arbutus, Buck, and I think calls it Arbutus or Madrone. But nice air gap all the way through just can't quite see all the way through that's okay but anyway on the splitter I have measured out from the back plate here going to this bolt here is 17 inches so that means about here to this first point between here and here is 15 to 16 inch so for those of you with this kind of splitter I don't know what year it is I haven't bothered to look for it nor do I kind of care anyway I thought that'd be a little good a little bit of tidbit information for you guys and then you don't have to sit there and measure out everything you measure it once on the table and kind of have an idea of about what each one of those triangle pieces those cutouts are on this side no idea I don't work from this side so yeah this side here I don't know but it's an idea but anyway Thought I'd walk along and show you. Yeah, some of those pieces are pink. Or a rose color. Like a dark rose. But. That's. Madrona. And that's the bark. It just. 
it just peels right off. Anyway guys, I think I'll call it a week on this one. Where that's at, it'll get tons of sun, tons of wind, and hopefully it'll both both stacks here will be ready to go by fall. If not, oh well, next year. Someone will enjoy it. But uh, yeah, the little 27 ton splitter did does a good job for for me. You know, I only spent 700 for it. So can't argue, can't complain. It's done what I've needed it to do. Anyway, so we'll see you next Wednesday and until then, have a good week. And uh, if you gotta drive or travel anywhere, travel safely. So for this week for me, it's get the trailer loaded up and truck loaded up one more time for a delivery early Saturday morning. Uh, for those of you that don't, that might know the Pacific Northwest a little bit, it's going to be just west of the SeaTac International Airport. So that's where I was uh, last Saturday. That's where I was, yeah, last Saturday. So. But uh, from my house to there, it's only like 45 minutes, maybe an hour, depending on traffic. Coming home, about the same. But it's only like 30 miles from the house. So what do you do? But anyway, till next uh, next week, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, all that neat stuff. Thank you for thank you to the new subscribers that are coming in. Hopefully you're enjoying the content. And, uh, yeah, thank you for those of you that have been around a while and watching my channel. And until then, see you next Wednesday.